uh, and obviously being able to see the damage firsthand in this community, acknowledge um, those who have obviously had their lives disrupted by what happened yesterday, but um, also acknowledge the community here uh, who have rallied uh, amazingly to assist people here. Um, the power is still out. Um, the message that we've got there is for those residents uh, who do have power out, that it could be a day or so um, before that could be restored. As you've seen, the teams from Vector are working uh, as quickly as they can to restore power to the street. Um, but then there's also a, um, initial set, an individual assessments of properties to see whether or not it's safe to get um, power back into homes. So that's being worked on at haste. There is um, a, a public safety message that the likes of Fiends would ask us to send as well. Um, Obviously with power out, um, there's potential for, for the use of candles and other such things. Uh, if people can be extremely careful in those situations, um, we don't want to make a pretty perilous situation uh, even worse. Um, look, uh, in terms of assistance, um, there are two welfare centres that the City Council and Auckland Emergency Management Centre has set up, so we'd encourage people to go there um, if they need help. There's also an 0800, 0800 number uh, there as well, 0800 uh, 222200, I believe, um, staff 24-7 to make sure people can get assistance if they need it. Um, I'd also like to announce that the government, and uh, through the help with uh, uh, the Auckland City Council, is going to commit at this stage $100,000 to uh, a mirror relief fund. Um, that will be obviously put in the hands of uh, the Auckland City Council to do what they uh, need to do to assist these communities through difficult times. The insurance assessors have been to some of these properties today, but my understanding is that there are some properties that don't have any insurance, so looking after the welfare of some of these uh, families as they kind of get a clearer picture over the next couple of days as to what's in front of them.